Hey guys, how's it going? It's Torment here. Welcome back to Chasing Rank 1 and Solo Standard episode 13. So in the last episode, we won one game and lost one game and stayed in the exact same place that we started with. So it's kind of just a waste episode. No progress was really made. So in this episode, we're just going to try to make that progress again. It's kind of seeming like we lose the same amount of points as we get for a win. So I guess we're just going to try to get both wins so we can actually make some progress and move up. And yeah, with that, we're just going to get right into the first game. All right, so we start game one on the new Neo Tokyo map that just came out. We actually have another, an RLCS player in the team, Timmy. And we have a couple of season three grand champs, so we'll just see how this game goes. Should be a good one. So right off the bat, that kickoff just flies to the side. I just had to go back for boost. Got to kind of trust my teammates there when I do a kickoff like that. Um, so I hit it up to my teammate. It actually ends up working out. Uh, unfortunately, I get dunk though, and my teammate was there with me, so kind of threw us out of the play. That was kind of weird. I think I got like body blocked by somebody else's card trying to go up for the block, but it ended up being all right. I think a teammate got a block as well, or after. So, so far, yeah, kind of been weird. We've been trapped in our zone most of this game. I don't think we've really gotten it out. Here's the first chance, but I actually run out of boost. He was up really fast, so he was able to beat me pretty easily. Um, and yeah, so far, just been rotating normally, but just really defensive. And we get scored on for the first time. So here, I was really low on boost. I wanted to get some more pads. I probably should have done better at get, having boost. And the teammate, I think he, I think my, one of my teammates got a missed touch and ends up being an open shot and we get scored on. So that's kind of just unfortunate. So right there, I flash my camera down to see if there's anybody there. And I'm actually able to flick two and take all three out of the game. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think my teammates thought that would happen. And one of the people on the other team was able to get back before him. But I was able to take three players out of the game, so that wasn't that bad. Uh, so there you see me miss a nice boost. Uh, miss it again. So just like the last couple episodes, I'm really good at missing boost. Um, I should probably get better at actually grabbing it. That'd probably be important. It's more important than, you th than I actually uh, than you actually think, you know. So I get a clear out, kind of a weak clear, but I try to follow up with a challenge. He ends up messing up his hit, and his teammate follows us up and helps him out. So kind of that kind of threw me off. I was able to get I got beat by that. I'm expecting a hard clear there, so I'm able to play it to the corner. I want to make sure that hits that part right where I hit it in the corner, so it doesn't bounce out middle. If you hit it too much to the to the left or right of where I hit it, it would bounce out to the middle and be an easier shot, but since I put it there, it was kind of hard for them to follow up. Um, I also went for that bump there to follow up. It didn't really work, though. I kind of missed it. So then I flash back to see my teammates there. It turns out he's up, so I decided to let him go since it looked like he looked he looked like he wanted to go pretty bad, which he ended up going. He got a decent hit, so it wasn't that bad. I just want to make... I do stuff like that to make sure I don't double commit with my teammates because that's the worst thing, especially in solo standard. You leave one player back and you don't trust, and that's a good shot from a teammate. Um, if you leave one tr player back, you can't trust that player. You don't even know them, and it's really they, re they're really likely to get scored on if they're in a unadvantageous spot, like a two-on-one against them. So I want to make sure I don't double commit ever. Good shot from my teammate to get that in, though. That was good from him. So 1-1, one, one, we've been t about two minutes to this game. Most of the time, we've been on our side, but we've gotten better in this last couple minute, or uh, last, last minute, I should say, um, getting the ball out of our zone. Definitely been better at that than the first minute. Here I got an open shot. I actually ended up putting it high off the backboard and go for a bump. Probably not the best idea because my backboard was pretty easily, not easily defendable, but even when I hit that up there, I I didn't think it, was be a, it would be a goal because it kind of just looked like it'd be a ball that the other team would beat my teammates to, which I ended up doing anyways. So my teammate tried to clear it out up the wall and follow it, but he slammed it right at me. And I wasn't even really able to get out of the way. I kind of wanted to help it and bring it along, but I wasn't able to even do that. Um, there's a nice miss from me. Didn't really hurt us though. Wasn't in, the, in a very bad spot. But yeah, I tried to. I wanted to get out the way, but he slammed it right into me so hard I really couldn't even move. So yeah, that ended up happening. Kind of almost messed us up real quick, but we were able to recover. Almost got scored on after that too, so that could have been bad. Here, that's a pretty dumb ball to go up for. Not gonna lie, but I end up getting like. Actually, this is pretty a, a pretty lucky dunk. Like, the way I went at it... Actually, I think we skipped the replay. Yeah, he skips the replay, and I did too. But the way I went at it, I kind of just went in the wrong track for an aerial or a redirect. And ended up actually blocking the other team that I didn't even know was up. And ends up going in the perfect spot, wide open net for my teammate. So, you know what? Sometimes you got to get lucky in this game, and that's that's one of them. Um, so, teammate, or the other team kind of fakes me. I, I thought he was going to go, so I went for like a block. Um, he didn't even hit it, so it ended up being fine for us to put the ball in a good spot. There, that's a decent shot, but two people in net, one of them for sure about bound to have boost, and I ended up scoring it anyways. So I took I took the ball Timmy hit to the side, 
and I was able to collect it. Two of them jumped in net, so that means they're both forced to be in net after that. And I had two options. I saw the guy across, and I saw the option to flick it. And I, honestly, I hadn't gone for a dribble all game, I don't think. So I decided to take that, flick it into the top corner. I got a good flick, so I was able to go in, and I'm able to, you know, just be a, be a 1v2er real quick. So 1 minute and six, 15 seconds left. We're up to, so we just want to play smart. It's definitely a losable game still. You don't want to, like, take in... Uh, as if it's in the bag already. As long as you just keep pressure on them. That's actually a good demo from Timmy. I was rounding the ball to cut a shot. It was going to be at least a sh at least a pass of the post, if not a shot on net. But he ends up demoing me and taking the option away completely. So that was good from him. Um, teammates able to get a clear out and they kind of mess up on their defense. So they kind of delay time. The more time they waste, the better for us. Which that kind of wasted like a couple seconds for them. Which at this, at, in uh, this stage of the game when they're down two, those are pretty precious seconds. I decided not to go up for that. It looked like Timmy was going to beat me no matter what. My teammate's able to get a save even though it looked like the other team was going to have a hit. He ended up get, didn't getting a hit, or not getting a hit. And there I kind of missed, but my teammate's able to keep it going. Um, again there, that was one of those things that I would have got a solid dunk. But the other team missed, so my hit, hit wasn't as good, but it still worked. We just needed to keep it in. I actually hit it away from everybody on the other team because they didn't expect that. So that bought a bunch of seconds for us. And five seconds left, we're up two. This game is pretty much impossible for them to win. And, yeah, we take home the win right when that touches the ground. So, yeah, that game was pretty good. I mean, we were kind of def defensive at first, but we ended up getting better at getting the ball out. And we kind of we did give the ball up a lot, but the other team did as well. So we were able to actually uh, take a win anyways. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of the situation in solo standard anyways. So after this game, we got moved up to the 20 spot. I believe we were in the 32 spot before that. So that's pretty good. 1342 MMR. I'm pretty sure number one is like in the 1430 range. I'm, I think I lost it. It might be 13, uh, 1440 now. So like 100 MMR lower, which is for 20 spots, it's a huge gap. So it's it's not as close as you think when you look at our spot on the leaderboard. We still need a bunch of wins. I think like I'd have to go like three or four episodes in a row winning out to possibly have a chance at that. Maybe even more, maybe even like five or six episodes. But yeah, we get the win. We're number 20 and we'll see how this next game goes. All right, so into game two, back on like a more normal map. Uh, don't recognize any of my teammates. I do recognize the other team though. Axiom was in the game before and salty i've seen and Pepiopi, who's on nexus so we keep seeing like i think we've gotten the entire nexus roster in this series so far so that's uh, pretty interesting that we always get them i guess they play solo standard a lot um so right there i get a decent hit off the backboard i see my teammates following up so i rotate back and just so for that i rotate back because i see holy monkey man i think his name is was rotating in so if there's a backboard he's able to go up because i'm going back and he knows i'm going back so that's kind of how, rota how the rotation should work, at least. And that was pretty good from us. But unfortunately, they had the team blocked and we weren't able to get it. So right here, I should focus on going back. I see both my teammates look like they want to go up. And I have zero boost, so that's a good that's a good time to go back as well. I try to just pop that up there because I see he's challenging high on the wall. And I just kind of fought back on my back like a turtle. Not really sure why I did that. Why I, did that. I think I just messed up and realized I had nothing to do, so I did that. I actually do a flick and it takes out two. So I decided to slide a pass over to my teammate. He narrowly misses that that slight touch. That was actually a pretty good touch from him to get that, but he just barely missed it and got it off the post. Um, could have been good, almost happened, but what are you gonna do? We just gotta rotate back in, keep trying to get it in. So here again, I try to pass it over to my teammate. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of put it high, kind of made it tough. He ends up missing it, but we it still shows that we've had a consistent pressure and we've been able to hit the ball to each other a lot. As I say that. My team double commits. Luckily, he misses that. But we've been keeping consistent pressure. We've been passing the ball a couple times. I got a couple decent passes to my teammate. Again, we get a good pass, a decent pass at least. But I end up blocking it by accident. And the other team it looked like they had a block anyways. But, yeah, it's three passes in like a minute and a half. And that's probably a, a new record for an entire game in solo standard for me. Passing, having people waiting for passes and, you know, doing decent things with them. Um, and there again, my team keeps deep, decent pressure, makes it hard on the defenders. That was a good pass up from my uh, my teammate, and I'm able to just literally put that right in that slot in the top left corner. That was a good pass from my teammate. They finally broke down. Um, one guy in net, the other guy wasn't able to get the challenge, and it just gives me a pr pretty open shot. So our pressure's shown off good so far, that's for sure. So right here off the cheat, they had nobody cheating, so I'm able to play it to the wall and grab the boost. Instead of getting an air dribble, though, they challenge it, and it kind of just... 
flies up to the middle, which perfect opportunity for my teammate to one-on-one -on -one dribble. This is what, for the other team, they should never let this happen of dribble like this, but both of the, I think the one guy crept up when he shouldn't have, and the other guy was flying from something else, like he went for a hit or the kickoff or whatever. So that was a really good dribble, a good opportunity to fake there, because obviously the guy last back is going to be panicking. He doesn't know what to do. He's probably not the greatest at defending dribbles, most likely. And my teammate gets a good fake, and he's able to get an open net shot because of it. So there I cross it, but there's no one there. But at least we're able to keep pressure off that after they try to dribble it out. So right now, we've just been suffocating them like this whole game. We've been doing really good. We're like the team... Like the opposite of last game, just keeping complete pressure. I go for a shot. I kind of was focusing on my accuracy there instead of my power or my placement. And I, I get a decent shot, but it was obviously so low and right at him that he's able to get it. And it doesn't work out. Hit off the backboard there. Actually, I get I think I get bumped on my landing, and it puts me in a spot better that I can better follow the hit up. And I don't think they expected that, so I'm pop it over. I pop it over two, and it's a wide open net for my teammates. So we've been doing really well. We've been synergizing pretty decently, and we have two minutes left up three goals. There's not much else you can ask for in solo standard, um, as long as you don't throw the next two minutes. It's pretty much a guaranteed win. You, most teams on the other team, at least, or and any team in solo standard, aren't coordinated enough to make a comeback like this. And, yeah, there you go. They actually forfeit the game, so I don't think they believed it either. I definitely didn't believe it. They didn't believe it. And they forfeit. The way they were playing, I guess they didn't like it, so they just left. Actually, that one teammate was Diamond 3. He's the lowest player in the lobby, but I... If I was watching this game before knowing the rank, which I was, I would not expect that at all. I thought he was going to be around the rank of the champion one or two, but he played pretty well that game. He got a couple decent goals, and yeah, that was actually a pretty good all-around game from our team. I think we worked pretty well. Probably one of the better solo centers games I've played of this season. So after that game, we only move up from the 20 spot to the 17 spot, but if you look at it, there's a huge gap in between those spots. We moved up 15 points, so that's a pretty good progress in this episode, and so that I'm, pre I'm pretty proud of that. I think this is the highest we've been this season so far. Far. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure about that. And yeah, so we're pretty high up there. We're getting, we're going, making good progress. It's like 80 points away from the number one spot. It, sh it might go up by the time we get more games in. But yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in episode 14. Peace.